Hello and welcome to another update video about XLM. XLM has not yet managed to um, break out to the upside form one more high. Just pointing out the possibility that one more high could still happen. It's not absolutely needed in this move to the upside. I mean, this third wave that we've been watching, it is very extended. I think it would look best with one more high, but it is not absolutely needed. The main focus here at the moment is on whether um, support holds or breaks, which degree of wave four this is. So we have a three wave move down already into the initial support area. This is really only micro support, yeah? So it's between 38.4 cents and 43.3 cents. Um, this, you know, I, I, I will take the position that if we break below 38.4 cents, we are in the larger wave four. And that wouldn't be a problem. That's um, support down to 23.3 cents. And it's for the larger third wave that actually started to develop when this circle two bottomed, and that was in September. So it's the entire distance of the rally to the recent top, and the 50% retracement level is the key level below which bullish momentum will most likely fade. That means it's a long way down, yes, but the idea is that we could see further rising prices going forward in at least one more high, as long as we're holding 23.3 cents. Below that level, the impulsive structure will break. Now, I don't necessarily expect the price to go down that much. It's not needed, but it is support. Um, normally, we say an ideal target for a fourth wave is the 38.2 retracement. That's at 29.5 cents. That level is positioned here. And even a quite shallow wave four is possible with support at 39.6 cents, but that would be very weak for a fourth wave of that degree. Yeah. But then again, pay attention to how you know, substantial this wave two was. It, it wasn't massive. Overall, I have to say again that this bottoming structure was a bit messy, so things might be a di bit distorted. Main takeaway is we have some support levels to watch here at 43.3 and 38.4 cents. We might get one more high. I'd actually like to see that, but maybe the market isn't gonna give it to us. Depends a bit on Bitcoin as well. If Bitcoin has really started a larger correction with that dip that we've just seen, um, possible, or possible that also XLM will start that slightly larger correction, but that would not be, let's say, a bear market until we, um, or return to the bear market until we break below 23.3 cents. Just a reminder how important profit taking is, and then we could still get one more high, e even in this white scenario, but if it morphs into the yellow count, which we see on the larger time frame, if it morphs into the yellow count, then we could still see even another four five pattern afterwards but that's that remains to be seen that's speculative that would be a wave count that is very similar to xrps which might then take us higher to well if we zoom out a little bit further which might actually take us higher to um, levels above the 2017 swing high and even above the 2021 high we haven't broken above the 2021 high yet but the bullish thesis would be wave one wave two wave three and that might still get one more high as I just showed you in another four or five pattern. So that's possible. We can possibly get to $2, $3 plus here if the market really forms all these structures to the end. But people always ask me like, what do you think it's gonna top? Bitcoin will end the bull market, right? I mean, these altcoins, when the wave count is full and Bitcoin hasn't topped yet, well, they might extend further. But overall, um, even if the wave counts are not full on these altcoin charts, if they don't hurry up and Bitcoin form as a bull market top, they will all collapse, right? They, there might be the odd exception, but the main takeaway is Elliott Wave is not perfect, but Elliott Wave helps us to understand where reward and risk is located, all right? And at the moment, it's fairly high risk, I'd say, because we're quite far away from that 50% retracement level. Um, so pullbacks can still be opportunities in the current market, absolutely. Maybe we're starting a maybe we're starting a more decent pullback. I know a lot of people are waiting for one. A lot of people ask me for one, two setups for deeper wave four pullbacks. Maybe it's starting, but for now we're even holding above the thirty-eight point four cent level. So we need a little bit more price data to confirm a larger pullback has started. I can t certainly tell you that the reaction that we've seen um, to the support region would be at best a diagonal pattern to the upside in this wave five, but it might actually touch support again and try another rally. But um, yeah, again, then we're starting to morph into the larger wave four at some point. 
That's the update about XLM. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.